all life is a struggle. There are challenges to meet. You'll need a clear head and a strong body. So stay off drugs. That's right, sing on the crack so you can live. It's very good advice. <laughs> <laughs> that was you, you know. <laughs> I didn't follow my advice. Yeah. <laughs> but I can live. You, um, this show that opens tomorrow night at the MGM in Vegas, it's called yeah. Undisputed Truth 2. These are, you, your first tour was very popular. You told these great stories from your life. This one, are, you, are they all new stories? They're all new stories. Um, they're, during that, they're during the part where I'm, I'm about to retire, and some parts after I retire. And um, it's an array of really bizarre stories. It's going to be a little raunchy, too. Uh-huh. So. Do you, can you give us one sample of one of the stories that, that you tell in this show? OK, for instance, right? I go do an interview. This is a sports writer, so I have my, my people call me up and say, you got a reporter. Meet him at the gym in Phoenix. So I meet him at the gym. I'm talking to the guy. The guy's a really small guy, but a really nice guy. I'm talking to him. And so two days go by, three days go by. I'm in the gym, and the gym is surrounded with cops, like squat. They're surrounded. And the cop um, the sergeant wanted to talk to me. And I said, what the hell did I do? Who asked did I grab last night? <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know what happened. But then I said to myself, I'm thinking, hey, if I grabbed for my ass, it wouldn't be the feds coming to get me. It would be some winky dink cop or some lawyer, you know? Right. And so I said, the ass police. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I came outside, and I was talking to the guy. And he showed me the picture of me and the guy, because it was on his website. And he said, um, do you know this gentleman? And I said, well, sir, I don't know. I, when I was promoting a fight, if I must have said something to him, if I offended him, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And he said, no, he liked you, Mr. Tyson. He didn't like the 28 people that he shot and the eight that he killed. You got interviewed by a murderer? Yes. He was the baseline shooter from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, Next. wow, yeah. Dale Hell Heiser. Hell, oh, Dale my Hiser. gosh. Yeah, he killed himself in prison, but, you know. Oh, so it has a happy ending. <laughs> It can be a certain occasion that could be happy. This is nuts here. This is nuts. Well, I can't get enough of these stories. And if you want to see them live for yourself, Undisputed Truth, round two, tomorrow night, MGM in Vegas, and Mike's book, Iron Ambition, My Life a Custom Motto. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.